Hi everybody, this is a video I put together of a boat called Grand Crew that I viewed the other day. Uh, the boat's very highly upgraded, shows extremely well, um, so I wanted to, to draw everyone's attention to this boat, it's a great deal. I have more information on the boat, so let me know if you'd like some more details and I'll send it over to you right away. Now these are just quick videos that I did with my iPhone. I'm looking on the aft deck here, nice French sliding doors. Big dining table, can seat six quite easily. Bench seating at the back, it has an awning that goes from the um, upper level to that, uh, to that back teak rail that's there. Um, the boat has been extended by about seven feet to um, add some tank space so that you can increase the range of the boat. There's a nice Euro platform that they added there as well. Uh, these are pointing out just the two cameras that the, um, the owner added for backing up. Um, the teak decks have been replaced uh, within the last five to eight years, although not by the current owner. Um, looking at these beautiful French sliding doors here, it has a, a sliding screen um, that can also come all the way across. Two or three of the window sections in the salon and the dining area also can um, slide down. And it enables you to just open everything up um, if you're an anchor and, and switch generators off. You can see there, there are the two wing doors as well, which close off the, the walk around. This is a full walk around boat. So looking through this salon, uh, most things have been updated in here from when uh, this current owner got the boat. There's all new AV, most of the electronic equipment is new on board the boat. Um, most of the soft goods here are new as well. Nice big galley, there's a pass through to the galley that can actually, um, there's a hatch there that can actually close that off. Um, and in the galley, it feels nice and big in here, all modern appliances, nice big oven for your, uh, for your Christmas turkey dinner. Um, and a brand new double fridge freezer in there as well within the last year. Uh, looking into the pilot house, all of the electronics have been replaced here. Some of the photographs in the brochure that I sent to you from the current broker, uh, they've actually used old photography, so I'm not sure why they've done that, but um, from the photographs in the, in the brochure to this, you can see all the electronics have been replaced. Steps up there, um, going up to the flybridge and, and just a closer look at some of the electronics here. Actually, all of the gauges have been replaced here as well, so essentially this whole area is new. Um, and beautiful teak flooring in, in here too. Um, just pointing out these screen doors that are on the pilot house as well. So it, it's actually a, an amazing amount of money has been spent on the design of this. Um, and we'll look down into the guest cabins now. So this is down in the lower deck, um, looking forwards into the forward VIP. Um, now this cabin has been changed slightly. It's added a shower and a bathroom in here. Um, it's a nice skylight, it's actually a fairly roomy uh, cabin here um, and plenty of natural light. It's moving aft down the um, guest companionway. This is the original twin. Um, uh, there's a pullman there that you can see comes down. This has all, also an ensuite bathroom. I didn't turn the lights on in here, but um, all beautiful. Um, mahogany and, and teak sort of finishes to the walls, nice appliances in the, in the shower. And then there's the other cabin here which is now used as a crew cabin um, but could easily be used as a, as a guest cabin. Um, the hatches that you see on the beds there, they actually cover up the, the washer dryer here, the washer dryer is new. That door um, that we're just turning away from now, that's through into the end room and another Pullman bunk in here. Uh, moving into the ensuite bathroom. Now originally this ensuite was for that forward VIP area actually shared between these two cabins. The forward VIP was originally the crew area which was torn apart down to the gunnels um, and made into that uh, Queen Center Island bed. And what's the crew area now was originally an office with a sofa bed. Uh, they did a great job there though. Um, so moving back into the engine room here. The engine room is very, very clean it's amazing the amount of equipment that they fitted in here. These are the two shore power converters. He could have got away with just installing one, but testament to the owner being uh, concerned about um, producing a top quality boat, he installed two. That was just um, an, an airline that they had in use at the time. Uh, a lot of these gauges were new. This is all the main bus bar. 
and then moving down in between the two main engines. Both had been stripped down and completely repainted or gripped um, within the last few years. All the air conditioning is new. They installed three compressor units, that was two. Um, these are the two new circulation pumps or, or um, chilled water pumps. And then there's a third uh, AC unit just the other side of that. Um, two water heaters, also new. Um, and the generators, these are, are slow turning generators. They're, they're bulletproof pieces of machinery, so they haven't been replaced, but they've been completely stripped down and rebuilt. Um, and two big inverter banks there, and we'll see the battery room um, in just a second. So moving um, past the uh, port generator, this is the third air conditioning unit that's brand new. Um, and then back to the water maker um, and all this equipment looked new although I didn't ask when that was installed but it all looked relatively new. Um, nice oil chain system and then looking on top of the uh, zero speed stabilizer so it does have zero speed stabilizer installed and with this being a, a Dutch built boat um, they've used big boat mentality so this is actually the crossover for the seawater um, delivery so great redundancy there you got two seawater strainers you usually don't see that uh, on this size boat so this is the inverter bank and then we have the uh, battery room now these are huge batteries um, they've the owner said they've actually ran the boat for a couple of days without switching a generator on and with it being a Dutch built boat that's the hatch to pull the batteries out so that you can change them fairly easily so this is back up on the deck on the port side companion way looking down into that room we just came and then uh, true to their form they've given us a, um, a pad eye there to actually hoist the things out so up on the bow um, huge equipment up here for the anchor windlass heavy chain um, the chain i believe the owner said has been replaced within the last couple of years nice big heavy duty cleats and nice seating area there and that's looking up onto the flybridge. They got flutes. The, the boat was actually um, built by a um, sailboat owner, um, and two of these boats were built um, with that sort of sailboat mentality. So you see a lot of traits running through this. So up the stairs, um, up onto the flybridge. That's the only access to the flybridge is from the pilot house there. But nice, comfortable stairs. They've added um, additional seats up here so you can sit three at the helm and then as down below all of this equipment here has been replaced uh, within the last couple of years. I didn't ask at the time but this eyes and glass, the enclosure, all of that looked new as well. Um, and it's worthwhile pointing out that the boat has just been completely repainted from top to bottom um, within the last year. So up here this is a, a little fridge, drinks fridge. Um, as we came up the stairs there were two igloos that we used there um, this is a sink unit and then some storage some deck chairs they've got uh, cushions that go on those pads as well um, the boat is in class so it has all commercial grade life-saving appliances we took a, a look at the um, tender the tender looked in great shape um, now I'm putting these photographs here um, and unfortunately I, I forgot to walk down into the master cabin with my camera. I did walk down there while the owner was giving me the tour, but I neglected to walk down there um, and take some video for you. So um, I paused it on this uh, shot to the salon. Here you can see the carpet and everything without the runners down. It is great that they have runners for all of the um, carpets on, on the boat, so it's in great condition. All of the lighting is all been converted to LED lighting. Um, and she really is in uh, quite amazing condition but um, on the left hand side of the photograph you can see there's a stairwell going down there so that's going down to the master cabin master cabin is full beam and it's split away from the other guest cabin so it's a nice um, layout so this is the um, master cabin plenty of head height here um, the TVs and entertainment system is all new um, it looked like the uh, carpets were new as well um, and then it's got a great ensuite bathroom and a nice desk area there as well that you can see the other side of the bed so um, really nice feeling cabin it is quite spacious quite large and then the bathroom here is, is enormous for the size of boat 
um, and it has a big bathtub in it as well. So uh, that's the boat. I, I don't often recommend that people make a, a large um, trip to come and inspect a boat, but I think if, if you're um, at a point where you're ready to start looking at things more seriously, I think this is a fantastic option for you to come and look at. Um, it's got amazing quality throughout. Um, it seems like everything has been done on the boat as far as maintenance and upgrades. I don't think um, certainly nothing stood out that uh, you would need to um, invest money into it in, in the short term apart from uh, regular scheduled maintenance. Um, and at the price that they're asking, uh, the owner's clearly very motivated to sell and, and I don't expect her um, to be available for very long. So um, that's it, that, that's my 10 cents. Um, I was very, very impressed with the boat. The owner is definitely dedicated to maintaining an above average boat um, and, and the quality shows throughout and, and the sailboat aspect that's gone into the, the build I think would be something that, that you would really appreciate. So uh, that's the video. I hope it was, um, I hope it was of some use to you.